Hello and welcome to Weekly MTG, and we have an exciting show for you this week. I'm stoked because I get to show you new cards, and because those new cards are from a set called Commander Legends Baldur's Gate. So today is our monthly announcement day, and we're going to be focusing almost entirely on Commander Legends Baldur's Gate. This is what we call a pre-beat, so you're going to get a little taste of what the set has in store. Uh, we're going to talk about a little bit of news before that. It's going to be all Commander related. We do have a couple exciting announcements kind of kind of strewn throughout the show, but the big focus is, of course, going to be Commander Legends Baldur's Gate, and I'm going to trip over that every time I say it, but I've done well so far. Let's start with a little bit of news. Now, if you're here, you're probably a Commander fan, and that means you might just be a fan of Command Zone. And we are doing something called Command Zone Live on March 29th with Jimmy and Josh. So this is an event that you can sign up for on our website, magic.gg, and actually the full URL will show on the next slide. Uh, but if you're into Commander, if you want to ask Jimmy and Josh some questions live and hear what they have to say, there you go, head to magic.gg slash command-zone-live and get to talk to Jimmy and Josh. That is happening next week. Uh, now, they aren't going to have Commander Legends stuff on that stream. Uh, when they do some of these in the future, we probably are going to line up previews with them. So, super excited there. Um, but let's jump into Commander Legend Battles for Baldur's Gate. See, I tripped over it there. Uh, let's get some of the... Uh, so, as part of the pre-beat, a lot of what we talk about are sort of the nuts and bolts of the set that people need it to start talking about. It. So, for example, here's the logo. Commander Legends, Dungeons & Dragons, Battle for Baldur's Gate. There's a lot of words there, but you know what? It's one awesome product. Next up is the set symbol. It's a shield with some, like, spiky star things, if that's relevant to Dungeons & Dragons. So, to set the stage, I have played Dungeons & Dragons. I am not an expert on Dungeons & Dragons itself. When we do the debut for this set, we are bringing on a couple of our friendly... Wizards of the Coast Dungeons and Dragons experts to walk us through all of the lore and who all the characters are and all of that sort of background stuff. Um, but anyway, this is the set symbol. All right, let's pause on this one for a little bit and chat. So these are the various products that are going to come with Commander Legends. Of course, we have draft boosters. I'm going to talk more about those in a sec. Set boosters. We have collector boosters. There are bundles and pre-release kits and four commander decks. So the four commander decks, we've taken the face cards off of there, so no card previews there. But you can see that there is a black-white party time deck, a black-blue mind flayers deck. <laughs> I had to say that live. A red-blue draconic descent deck and a red-green exit from exile deck. So there are four commander decks coming. Uh, now, if you look up on the set boosters, you'll notice Minsk and Boo. Minsk and Boo are actually back, and you know what? Minsk and Boo are lovely. They're amazing. They're fun. I'm going to show off Minsk and Boo's card on this episode a little bit later. Um, the other thing I want to call out, so one of the reasons I am excited for Commander Legends Battle for Baldur's Gate uh, is because... I was a huge fan of the first Commander Legends set. It's one of my favorite sets we've done. Um, I opened a ton of that, but that was during like the height of the pandemic, and it was a set really made to draft. And as much as I enjoyed that set and have cards from that set throughout my deck, I actually never drafted it. So I'm really looking forward to being able to draft this set. So that's something to keep in mind. Those draft boosters are 20 cards to enable building a 60 card draft deck. So look more, look for more on how to draft this set as we get closer. Uh, Gavin Verhey did do a video on Good Morning Magic when we released the first Commander Legends talking about how to draft Commander Legends. Um, but if you didn't get to draft the first one, uh, get hyped because you can draft this one with your friends. Uh, next up, let's talk through some key dates coming up. 
So May 16th, debut day, I will be back here in the studio doing that debut day as well. Uh, that's the start of previews. So that's when we'll start talking about mechanics and a lot more about the different treatments. We're going to talk some, about some treatments today, but you'll learn more there. Um, and we'll talk about really like all the details of the set on May 16th. And then previews are going to run through the 23rd. The 23rd is when the full card image gallery gets posted, for those of you familiar with that. Uh, so that's when the full set will be out on the 23rd. Uh, and then those four commander decks, we are going to roll those out on the 24th and the 25th. That all, of course, leads into the pre-release on June 3rd through 5th. And then June 10th, is the global release. Now, that is all awesome. I'm looking forward to that pre-release and the global release launch weekend and all that. Um, but I know a lot of you have been looking forward to what I'm about to say. So as part of the launch of Commander Legends, I don't have dates yet. We don't have exact details. Those were all come. But we are relaunching Command Fest. So Command Fests had just started up before the pandemic hit, and we are bringing them back with Commander Legends Baldur's Gate. So uh, those dates and information are yet to come, but we are planning to do Command Fest again. So I'm super excited for that. And uh, we are talking plural. There's not gonna be just one. So keep an eye out for the announcement of Command Fest coming up. Uh, another Thing I want to share is that Commander Legends Baldur's Gate uh, is a commander release. It's not specifically coming to Arena, uh, but there's a companion product coming to Arena. That product is called Alchemy Horizons Baldur's Gate. And Alchemy Horizons Baldur's Gate, I'm going to trip over saying that as well, is going to include some cards from Commander Legends. Uh, and it will also include some versions of those cards rebalanced for a 1v1 environment, uh, as well as new cards designed for digital play, and it'll be legal in Alchemy and Historic, and it will be available as a draft format on Arena starting July 7th as well. So keep an eye out for that. If you're a fan of this set, that'll be another way to experience uh, the world of Baldur's Gate. All right, you're here for previews. I know you are. We're all here for previews. It's my favorite part of the set. So we're going to do this. We're going to just jump into previews right now. Uh, if you have questions about anything, hold them until we get to the Q&A section after the previews. Um, we'll kind of go through all the previews, uh, which we have like, what, eh, 10, 12, something around that. Uh, we're going to go through the previews, and then I will attempt to answer what questions I can and deflect the rest to preview season from there. All right, previews. All right, let's start off with the Rare Lands. This has become something of a tradition for our pre-beats, showing off the Rare Lands. And in this case, we have Bountiful Promenade, and you can probably guess the next four lands coming. Uh, so Bountiful Promenade, if you're not familiar, is one of the old Battle Bond lands. It enters the battlefield tapped unless you have two or more opponents. This one has art by friend of the show, Elena Danner, and makes green and white. Coming next, Luxury Sweet. This one with art by Titus Lunter. So this is the black-red version of this cycle. And of course, these come in extended versions as well. Next up, Morphic Pool with art by Chris Ostrowski. 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 Then Sea of Clouds, gorgeous art by Matt Gazer. Gasser, I don't actually know. I apologize, Matt. Next up, Spire Garden by Alexander Forsberg. The red-green version of that cycle. And then, as a little bonus, while we're talking about rare lands for your commander deck, why not add in reflecting pool again friend of the show elena danner with some gorgeous art here um i don't like to leave home without reflecting pool in my multicolor decks so reflecting pool is coming back in commander legends dungeons and dragons battle for Baldur's gate love reflecting pool all right next up we have 
some new cards. All right, Elder Brain. So this is the buy a box promo. If you purchase a display box of draft set or collector boosters, uh, you'll get one of these while supplies last from your local game store. So Elder Brain is a 6-6 six, six creature horror for five and two black mana. It has menace, and whenever Elder Brain attacks a player, exile all cards from that player's hand. Then they draw that many cards. You may play lands and cast spells from among the exiled cards for as long as they remain exiled. If you cast a spell this way, you may spend mana as though it were mana of any color to cast it. So you just basically suck up your opponent's entire hand and get to do what you want with it. Elder Brain, really cool card. Buy a box for all. Next up... Another promo, we have the bundle promo. So, to the surprise of no one, dice rolling is coming back in Commander Legends ba Battle for Baldur's Gate. So this is Wand of Wonder, and you'll see the three versions here, including the bundle promo. Wand of Wonder is an artifact for three and a red, and for four mana and tap it, you can roll a d20. Each opponent exiles cards from the top of their library until they exile an instant or sorcery card. So it's each opponent. Then they shuffle the rest into their library. Then you may cast up to X instant and or sorcery spells from among cards exiled this way without paying their mana costs. Without paying their mana costs. Uh, if you roll 1 to 9, X is 1. If you roll 10 to 19, X is 2. And if you roll a 20, you get to cast them all. So that is the Wand of Wonder. And again, if you purchase the bundle, that one on the right is the promo that will come with it. Next up, wouldn't be a Dungeons & Dragons set without dragons. Ancient Brass Dragon is a creature Elder Dragon. Yes, this is part of a cycle. It is a 7-6 flyer, and whenever Ancient Brass Dragon deals combat damage to a player, roll a d20. When you do, put any number of target creature cards with total mana value, X or less, from graveyards onto the battlefield under your control, where X is the result. So uh, you'll notice it has two different versions. It has the borderless version, so that's a special treatment for certain cards in the set, including these Elder Dragons. And also the rulebook frame, which invokes the old monster manual uh, that D&D came out with way back in the day. Um, you'll see this treatment returning. Uh, we use this in Adventures of the Forgotten Realms. It is coming back with Commander of Legends Battle for Baldur's Gate. I'm kind of challenging myself. How many times can I say that in a show? Um, so you'll see Ancient Brass Dragon. We'll get that treatment. Now the twist is that this is going to be a treatment on more than just creatures. We'll get to that in a moment. Uh, next up for preview cards, I promised Minsk and Boo. I deliver Minsk and Boo. So this is Minsk and Boo Timeless Heroes. So now you're going to notice immediately Minsk and Boo Timeless Heroes is a Planeswalker that can be your commander. So uh, Planeswalkers that can be your commander are returning in this set. There's a couple of them. Uh, this one in particular is two, a red and a green for legendary Planeswalker Minsk. Comes in with three loyalty, and it has the static ability when Minsk and Boo Timeless Heroes enters the battlefield and at the beginning of your upkeep, you may create Boo, a legendary 1-1 red hamster creature token with trample and haste. And then for plus one loyalty, put three plus one plus one counters, three on up to one target creature with trample or haste. Conveniently, Boo has Trample and Haste. Look at that. And then, minus two, Sacrifice a Creature. Better not be Boo. Uh, sacrifice a Creature, when you do, Minsk and Boo, Timeless Heroes, deals X damage to any target, where X is the creature's power. If the Sacrifice Creature was a hamster, fine, fine, we'll Sacrifice Boo. Draw X cards. So you get a little Boo out, you pump it, you throw it at something, you draw some cards if you're in trouble. All right, next up, yeah, put your changelings in that. Yep, that's right. The rulebook frame is coming to spells. So how could we not then use that frame? 
uh, and artistic style for a classic Magic the Gathering spell that just so happens to also be a classic Dungeons and Dragons spell, Fireball. So they, they, they come from, you know, the same place, the same loving place. I have no idea what I'm saying there. Uh, so Fireball, uncommon in the main set, and you can get the rulebook frame as well. Here's the one that really uh, had me sitting up straight. Next is Lightning Bolt, a common in the set, and also you get the rulebook frame. And yes, that rulebook frame does come in foil. Let's just all sit here and appreciate that for a moment. Yes, Lightning Bolt is common in this set. So again, the set is meant to be drafted uh, as a commander set. And Lightning Bolt, while a very powerful card, loses a little bit when you've got four or three opponents. Still an incredibly powerful spell that you're going to want to draft high. And if you play Lightning Bolt in any formats where it's legal, that rulebook one is going to look fantastic. I know I'm going to grab so, so many of those. All right. That is all the preview cards. That's it. We did it in 15 minutes. Basically record time. So here's what we're going to do. Um, that is all of the planned information that we have for, I'm scaring people back in the office right now, or like planned information, I'm not sharing anything else. But we will attempt to answer what questions we can uh, in chat if you have them. So go ahead, it helps if you tag at magic uh, so I can see it. If you have questions uh, specifically regarding Commander Legends, Baldur's Gate, but you know what, if you have other questions, we'll, uh, we'll attempt to answer what we can. So. Uh, as for the draft archetypes, oh look, right off the bat I get to do it. Um, you'll have to wait for previous season to learn about the draft archetypes. Um, let's see. Uh, uh, uh. Holy cow, this is moving fast. All right, box toppers in the set. Uh, no. Mm -hmm -hmm. Okay. Okay, changes to the content of draft boosters. So um, for those who are interested in the nitty gritty details, there is an article going up on Daily MTG that is going to detail uh, some of the content. We will have more specifics again as we get towards that uh, May 16th date. But as far as the draft boosters go, they are going to be largely the same. Uh, I'm not going to say entirely the same, but they're, they're 20 cards. Um, and you can expect to, uh, and, and there's also a foil in each pack. Uh, how many legendaries will be in the set? Uh, you'll just have to wait and see. Will the pre-release be sealed or draft? Draft. Um, I suppose the store could hypothetically run something as sealed, but this set is meant to be drafted. Uh, will this set have any solid reprints? I would argue that the lands that we showed were pretty solid reprints. Um, so there are, um, I, I will say, the main set is all D&D uh, &D themed, so there's only, you know, so much room for reprints in that sort of space. The commander decks have more room for reprints, so keep an eye on those as well. Um, are there partners or friends forever? Okay, I was actually hoping someone would ask this um, because I saw the, the Amazon listing going around listing 98 cards before speculating. Um, there are no new partners. No new partners in this set. Um, let's see. Um, will Command Fest Online be returning with the new Command Fest? So stay tuned for details on all the Command Fests. I'm super excited for them, but I, I literally have no other details on Command Fest except that they're going to happen around the time of Commander Legends release and. Um, they're, they will be held in person. As if there's an online component, I'm not 100% sure on that. All right, let's see. What else do we have here? Yep. Uh, new Boo Token. Uh, yes, I believe so. Uh, I don't know if it's new art. I haven't actually looked at it. 
Uh, will all the companions for, from Baldur's Gate 3 get a card? So the eagle-eyed might have noticed that the key art that we showed and some of the art on the packaging is a character from Baldur's Gate 3. Uh, that does not mean that this set is a specifically Baldur's Gate 3 set. This is a D&D &D set that pulls a lot from Baldur's Gate. Um, why are there 98 cards in the pre-con? Um, you'll just have to wait and see. Um, it's not exactly accurate, but... Uh, any fun or serialized chase cards? Yes. Uh, what is this new dungeon in the bundle list? Uh, wait and see. Uh, do we have any updates on the infinity release date? I do not. Uh, is the draft the same rules as, as uh, the original Commander Legends? Yes. Uh, will the basics have flavor text? You will have to wait and see. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. Will I be your traveling companion? I don't know you. That's a very nice offer. Um, sorry. Uh, does Dockside have new art? Nice try. Nice try. Um, Will Bolt become legal and historic in the bonus set? Uh, considering Lightning Bolt is already banned in historic due to its inclusion in the Strixhaven um, set, then I would say no. Um, will the partner Piper return? So for those who play the first Commander Legends, uh, the Prismatic Piper was a card that kind of let you choose your color if you didn't get the right commander for your deck and it was it was a smoothing opportunity so the uh, prismatic piper itself is not returning but there is something in that space that helps it all kind of come together and work in those sort of same situations uh, will the alchemy companion set be legal and standard alchemy or just historic both alchemy and historic uh, will pauper get some new toys Maybe. I haven't, I have honestly have not looked at the set through that lens. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. Um, why no new partners? The sort of why questions are great questions for when we have the people who design the set on the show. And we will have some of those starting on May 16th. Um, will there be any legendary dragons in the set? Maybe. You'll just have to wait and see. I should start using an accent for saying that. Uh, will we get paper magic back? So I, I said earlier that command fests are returning. Command fests are paper in-person events um, where you just play commander. They're awesome. I, I did a couple, I think I did two before the pandemic set in and just had a blast the whole time. Uh, additionally, I will call attention to the fact that next week, William Jensen is going to be on the show, 331, uh, where we are going to talk about the uh, tabletop premiere play format uh, and the new organized play system. All of that's coming next week. What will happen next week, I might as well go through this, is that the announcement will go up in the morning, the, the text announcement, and then uh, William Jensen and I will be on the stream in the afternoon to talk to all you fine folks about it. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. All right. Did you say no partners in the commander decks or no partners in the set overall? What I said was no new commander, no new partners. Uh, and I will cover both the main set and the commander decks with that statement. Just setting expectations on that one because I know I saw that 98 cards thing going around. There are no new partners in the main set or the commander decks. I will, I will give you that one for free. You're welcome just because I like you. We're close. We hang out weekly. It's a good time. All right. Let's see. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. Are the new command fests international? So again, stay tuned. I don't have those details yet, unfortunately. Some people in the building do. I don't. Um, are we actually going to get Elminster this time? You'll just have to wait and see. I will say that, um, you know, for doing previews for sets like this, a lot of the times I go to some of our um, our D and D friends who work on 
community and communications on, on that, that side of the wall. They, they sit really close to us, and we just talk through it. And um, Brandy, who's actually going to be one of our D&D folks on the show, went through it, and she's a huge fan of D&D, and just eyes were lighting up at a bunch of the characters that were in. So I'm not going to say specific characters, uh, but I will say that there, there's some good stuff in there for D&D fans. Um, let's see. How many new cards are in the D&D Commander decks? Um, Ten. So, also worth noting, so the D these Commander decks, like the Streets of New Capenna ones, these Commander decks will come with a Collector Booster sample pack. So that's a two-card pack that has a couple cool treatments in it. Um, little, little mini Collector Booster pack inside the Commander deck. <laughs> um, any card names containing the word critical? Honestly, don't know the answer to that. Maybe. Uh, follow up. Foil etched legendary card. So uh, the, the foil etched treatment is coming back. We'll talk more about exactly what that looks like when we get to the debut, but yes. Um, let's see. Does Boo get new art for this? I actually do not know the answer to that. Uh, we probably could have showed the Boo token today. That wouldn't have hurt too much, but we didn't do that. Um, if producer Sean can find the boo token, we can show it off on stream. That is, I'll allow it. I'll allow it. A lot of interest in boo, which of course there is. Um, what makes the collector boosters special this time? Uh, we don't have the details, like we'll do the breakdown. So on May 16th, what we'll do, um, we do articles called like collecting blah, 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 um, Blah, blah, blah. In this case, uh, Commander Legends Battle for Baldur's Gate. It's always collecting whatever the set. Um, and those articles will break down exactly what treatments, what foils um, are in a collector booster. And where also where you can find each of the treatments and that sort of thing. Uh, it's worth noting that the only treatments that we make exclusive to collector boosters are typically, just saying typically, the extended art ones. Um, any monocolor commanders in this Commander Legends set? The last one only had partners. You'll just have to wait and see. I, I, it's not a bad bet. Are we going to get more Planeswalkers as commanders? I will say yes. Minsk and Boo is not the only Planeswalker as commander in this set. Hmm. <laughs> Oh, let's see. So many questions I can't answer. I'll just, I'll have to wait and see. May 16th. May 16th, a lot of these questions will start getting answered. Um, <laughs> will there be non-Commander Planeswalkers in this set? I don't think so. Uh, for people asking about new dungeons and that sort of thing, stay tuned. Stay tuned. I say that like that's different from the answer I just gave. Oh, no, no, definitely stay tuned. Definitely stay tuned. Um, the question, will there be a colorless commander this time? So I talked about that earlier. Prismatic Piper is not coming back, but there is something equivalent in the set to make sure that your draft works every time. <laughs> Will the set have any references to the 80s cartoon? So I don't know the 80s cartoon well enough to know the answer to that. It is a great question. We all love the 80s cartoon uh, at Wizards of the Coast, but I do not actually know if there are any specific references to it. That's what we'll have to ask our D&D experts for. Okay, uh, apparently the Boo token is the same art. Thank you, producer Sean. Um, so is this Commander for Arena or is this for Brawl? Okay, so just again to be clear, so the um, set that is coming to Arena July 7th 
is built for 1v1, so it'll be useful in Brawl. This is not an announcement of Commander coming to Arena. <laughs> what can you say that you haven't said and want to say? The one question I knew I wanted somebody to ask me was about partners because of that listing of 98 cards. Um, and I just wanted to clear that up, and I did clear that up. So that's really the only question that I wanted to be asked for sure. Um, <laughs> um, there's some great questions here that I don't necessarily have the answers to. Um, Okay, I see one. Uh, pre-release kits, how many packs? They will contain three draft boosters. So again, that you are, uh, your pre-release experience is meant to be a draft. It'll be three draft boosters. Those contain 20 cards. You draft 20 cards and you build a 60 card deck. Uh, it will also contain a year stamped foil rare or mythic rare, a dungeon card. So that is, that is text that is on our website. I know I can say that. Um, and you'll, you'll learn more about that when we get to preview season. There is a dungeon card in your pre-release pack. Um, how's my day been? You keeping hydrated? Thanks for asking. That's really nice. This is coffee. Uh, I'm keeping caffeinated. Um, okay, I'll, I will clear up this as well. The 98 cards I know is confusing people. Uh, just honestly, on the 98 cards listing that I know went around, just wait and see. Um, the question here in chat is it 98 cards because the final two are in the collector booster sample? No, that is the, the collector booster sample is separate from the deck. It is not counting towards the 100 cards. Uh, uh, is there anything related to the game Baldur's Gate 3? Yes, there are some characters from Baldur's Gate 3 that are in this set. Uh, will all day drafts return for Commander Legends 2? Um, not entire, if, 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 check with your local game store. I, I also would imagine that uh, the Command Fest, I don't know this for sure, but I would imagine at Command Fest, you will be able to draft Commander Legends as well. Um, any plans for themed dice sets rather than just a spin down D20? I don't have any answer for that right now. Uh, any new Canadian Highlander builds of late? I could talk forever about Canadian Highlander, but I'm not going to do it on this stream. Most people here don't want to hear about my Canadian Highlander decks, but the answer is no. I've incorporated new cards, but I have not built any new decks. All right. What's the spiciest thing you can tell us without getting in trouble? Um, boy, the partner thing was probably the... Mm, furthest thing I could go without getting in trouble. Um, spiciest thing without getting in trouble. I don't know. I'll have to think about that. I don't know that there is actually anything else I can share that would be spicy. What was the biggest thing you learned from Commander Legends that you took into consideration with the set? So that is a great question that we should ask the developers. I didn't develop this set. So, um, you know, for me... I'm just, for me and for a lot of people, it's going to be the first time experiencing the draft format. And so um, I'm really looking forward to that, which doesn't exactly answer your question, but um, look for, we'll have um, the people behind the set on the show on the 16th, and you can ask that sort of question there. What is a command fest? Great question. Not everybody played back then. Uh, back then, it was like two years ago. Um, so. Command Fests are large uh, events, usually held in some sort of event hall, with just tables as far as the eye can see. And they ran with, um, you know, on-demand commander events, so sit down with, you know, three people, play. Um, you know, some of them had prize walls. Um, they would have events. I would imagine at this you'll be able to draft Commander Legends. Um, and some of them had additional uh, formats as well. So I actually, I did play Canadian Highlander at one of the Command Fests. So Command Fests, um, if you're familiar with um, uh, Magic Fests or, or the old Grand Prix, that sort of experience, but centered around Commander. So there's no like 
central tournament or anything like that. It's, it's commander play as far as the eyes can see. It's fantastic. It's amazing. Um, I'm sure with the news that Command Fests are coming back, Jimmy and Josh will talk about it on their show if you are familiar with Game Nights. Uh, bu -bu 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 -bu. Will there be art cards in the set? In the set boosters, yes. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Uh, when is the Daily MTG article going up? Uh, no later than 3.30 if it's not already up. And I can actually... Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah, no later than 3.30, probably sometime soon. Um, okay, so here's a great question. I don't know anything about Baldur's Gate lore. What do I need to know before the set comes out to enjoy it? Honestly, like, the set is focused on commander play and social play. It is super easy to enjoy the cards for what they are, not knowing anything about it. And to learn, like, I don't, I, like I said, I've played Dungeons & Dragons uh, a few times, um, and I don't know who Minsk and Boo are, but I certainly enjoy the concept. So... I would say that you don't need to know anything about the lore to enjoy playing the set. Um, if we're talking about, uh, if, if that is the way that you, or one of the ways that you enjoy the set by knowing about the lore, by knowing about the background, um, I guess we, I can have our, our Dungeons & Dragons expert talk about that on the 16th and uh, hopefully path you into some resources there. Uh, let's see. Any chance there will be a new plane chase again? Uh, I don't know anything about anything like that. Can we get a new Cabana preview, pretty please? Uh, no. So we're only uh, two weeks away from Streets of New Cabana. Actually, so that is a great segue into um, a couple other things I wanted to let people know. So this is separate from Commander Legends. But Streets of New Cabana, we are coming up on the debut for Streets of New Cabana. So that is happening April 7th. But much like uh, Kamigawa and Neon Dynasty, we are leading story first. So starting next week, Monday, uh, the story is going to start up. So we'll ha we're going to have the first Streets of New Capenna next Monday, the 28th. Uh, additionally, we're going, we uh, partnered with Jimmy and Josh uh, from Game Nights as well, from Command Zone. Uh, they helped us put together a round table, a uh, world building round table, kind of like we did with Neon Dynasty. Similar, a little different, but similar. That's coming on the 31st. So if you're interested in the world building and the lore behind Streets of New Capenna, that'll be a great opportunity for that on the 31st. And again, we are going to have story Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Uh, and then Monday, Tuesday, the next week. There's not going to be story on Thursday because that's when we're focusing on the Premier Play announcement. And there's not going to be story on April 1st because April Fool's is the worst. Um, additionally, uh, look for something cool. The, the only thing I'm allowed to say, look for something cool music, musically. I stumbled over that word too. Look for something cool musically coming next week as well. All right, so that's that's the streets of New Capenna. That was going to be my sign off, but you know what? You ask the question, and I, I give the peoples what they want, except when I don't. Um, uh, just to reiterate, how will pre-releases work? You will get three draft bo boosters, and the expectation is that people will draft. Now you can draft in a four-person pod, you can draft in an eight-person pod. Um, there is some flexibility there, but the expectation is that people will draft. You you could try sealed with those, um, but they're intended for draft. Do you prefer Streets of New Capenna or Commander Legends? Honestly, they're, they're, I enjoy both of them. They both tickle a part of the game that I like. So Streets of New Capenna has the three color um, theme going for it, which I really enjoy as a Cruel Ultimatum player for a very long time. I love three color sets. Uh, and then Commander Legends, I really enjoy Commander. And um, I'm super stoked to draft Commander Legends. So I don't know that I could say I prefer one or the other. Um, bu -bu 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 -bu. <laughs> uh, let's see. All of the... Um, let's see. Already jumping ahead to 40K Commander announcement when. 
Um, all I'll say about that is pay attention to the monthly announcement days that we, and actually, Sean, do we still have that graphic hidden somewhere, the monthly announcement day schedule that we did a couple shows ago, like last month, I want to say? Um, wouldn't be bad to run through so I can point people in the direction of some other special days. All right, let's see. Uh, if I haven't gotten your question, go ahead and keep putting it in chat. I'm seeing um, people repeating questions, and that's fine. I'm way behind on questions, but I'm trying to get to as many as I can because there are still a bunch of actually good questions that I can still answer, which is great. Um, let's see. Uh, da, 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 da. Will flip a coin mechanic return? I don't know, actually. All right, so um, we're going to put, yes, this. So monthly announcement date. So this is March 21st. This is a monthly announcement day. So the monthly announcement days are days where we bundle big announcement, big and small announcements, like today. Uh, so the next monthly announcement day is April 21st. We have a couple cool things pegged for that already. May 12th is going to be a big one. Um, that is going to bundle a lot of things. So if you are available May 12th, definitely pay attention to that one. Uh, then we hit June 30th, July 21st, September 29th, October 20th, and December 1st. Uh, you can see there's a little, there's, there's, monthly is a, it's, it's an approximation. Um, but for, for major announcements throughout the year, definitely look towards those dates. All right. Next up, how many legendary creatures in the set? A lot. A good number. Uh, basic land art. I do not have the basic land art to show off today. We will show that off when we get into previews. Uh, can the foil stamp card be played in your pre-release uh, draft deck? Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Um, will classic commanders get a reprint? Uh, so again, this is a set, I, I'm not going to talk specifically about reprints, but this is a set that is themed after Dungeons and Dragons, which makes reprints a little bit of a tougher sell. It's not to say they don't exist. Obviously, we included the formerly Battle Bond lands in this set. Uh, so reprints can happen, but they're a little different for it. Now, that and also Fireball, Lightning Bolt. Now, that said, Magic and D&D share so much of the same DNA that there is a lot of space for overlap. That is what I will say about that. Will we get a legendary Dragon Angel creature finally? Maybe. Uh, will we get Bahamut Dragon card as well? Maybe. Will the Sliver... Uh, return to magic, maybe. Will <laughs> we get dual lands with basic land types like in Kaldheim? Maybe. Sorry, I have no answers for those. Those, those, are, those are a little too specific. Um, are there new dungeon-related cards? You will have to wait and see. Um, uh, the Magic Gathering Walking Dead equivalents. I don't actually know that answer off the top of my head. I've seen the question. There is an answer to that question. I don't have it readily available, so I apologize for that. Uh, uh, I'll, I'll read this. This is, uh, I would say, more feedback than a question because I certainly don't have the answer to this. But now that we have all the Commander Legends duels outside of Battle Bond, can they please become standard reprints in the Commander decks? Your move. Studio X. Um, the questions about prices. So um, we don't uh, we don't talk about prices. Check with your local game store for how they're pricing things. Um, stores are free to price things as they would like. Um, is the party mechanic making a return? Was that covered already? So we're, I'm I'm not sharing mechanics today. But um, I will point out, Sean, can we put the product shot up there again? One of the decks is called Party Time. I don't know what to do with that. Do what you will with it. I honestly don't know if it contains the party mechanic. It's a real tease if it doesn't. 
Uh, I honestly do not know the answer to that, so I'm not playing with you right now. Just something to notice that it's a it's a D and D commander deck, and it's called Party Time. Um, let's see. Uh, when when can we get info on Pioneer Light on Arena? We are getting close to that. I don't have it today, but we are getting close to announcing that. Uh, when you said 10 new cards for pre-con decks, you mean 10 cards per deck or 10 cards total? It's 10 cards per deck. 10 cards per deck. Uh, the question, Ares lands when? So that's a question about the secret layer drop for um, the Ares uh, astrology lands. So we are timing all of the drops to go on sale when the sign rises. I'm not, I'm not super into astrology. I don't know exactly what the phrase, but like the first day of whenever that sign is a thing. I don't know. Uh, align, align the astrology sign with the date. That's when the sale should be starting. Uh, will there be alternate full art variants? Yes, we showed a couple off. Um, and actually, this is, this is a good spot. Um, I know some people have come in just recently. Uh, let's run through the previews again, if we could, producer Sean. Oh, look at that. He's so ready. He knew what I was going to do. So uh, we have the what we're, what we're referred to as the Battle Bond lands. So all five of the allied color lands. So those are getting that extended frame treatment. And then we also have... Reflecting pool. Elder Brain is the buy a box promo. Card's super sweet. Sucks your opponent's hand and lets you cast it. Wand of Wonder. Fantastic D&D item. Ancient Brass Dragon and Elder Dragon. That comes in the borderless treatment and the rule book treatment. Part of a cycle of mythic elder dragons. Minsk and Boo. There are some planeswalkers that will be able to be your commander. Minsk and Boo among them. Adorable space hamster. And then these are, these are some of my favorite. We've got um, that rule book treatment is coming back not just for monsters, but also for some classic spells like Fireball and like Lightning Bolt. All right, um, moving back to questions. Will Magic Fester equivalents uh, be talked about next week? So um, I don't have a date for you on that. Um, Oh, I'm sorry. I, I misread that. I was reading as uh, I was reading that as command fests. Um, so no, no. Ne next week is all about the the system. It's not necessarily about events specifically. Um, all right. What is a bundle promo? Does that card come in every bundle pack? So we sell something called a bundle, which is basically a box with a bunch of set boosters in it. And the uh, that box comes with the promo right inside the box. Let's see. Are the collector booster samples all the same or are they the same com per commander deck or completely randomized? So they are randomized within a subset of um, cards available in uh, collector boosters. So one of them is non-foil, one of them is foil, and there can be, and one of them is, uh, sorry, that might not be correct. I'm going to hold off on giving the details. One is not rare mythic, one is rare mythic, um, but there can be various foilings and um, treatments and stuff. So no, it's it's randomized within a subset of cards. So no, it's not the same. It's not like if you buy X deck, you will get Y and Z cards. Uh, when will we get the Alchemy Horizons info uh, that will not be on the 16th? So while the sets are themed the same, they are different sets. So we're going to do previews for that set differently. That set releases on July 16th. Um, there is some overlap. Some cards uh, are translating directly 
Um, but there are, like I said, there are both new cards and there are cards that are tweaked to work better in a 1v1 environment. Do, 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 do. Fetch lands? No. We are doing the battle bond lands in this one. Can you please tell us something super cryptic and vague about the future of magic that you're working on? Isn't that what I've been doing for like half of this? Um, is the Elder Dragon a single creature type or is Elder a type on its own? Elder is a type on its own. Um, so I, I'm seeing multiple questions about dungeons. In the case that there are new dungeons, will there be, this one is, would there be legal in other formats? Um, stay tuned for the dungeon thing. Stay tuned. Uh, any update on the Netflix series? No. Gladiator QN. That would be pretty fun. Uh, Gladiator, for those who don't know, is a fan run format on uh, Arena that uses, it, it's singleton, 100 cards, um, and people have, people direct challenge each other. There's a Discord, uh, Ben Wheeler, if you know him, he's uh, one of the main proponents of it. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. Can you show the commander decks again, please? Um, sure, we can get that back up there. There they are. Not a ton of information on there, but you know what? Enhance. Zoom and enhance. Do your thing, Internet. See what you can figure out. Every set we do this with, with the packaging, and we're very careful about knowing what's on the packaging and what we're showing. And almost every time, it's like, oh, how did they notice that and figure that out? It's a fun little game. Um, ba, 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 ba. Any cards similar to Jessica's Will or spells that have an alternate cast cost when you have the commander out? You'll just have to wait and see. What is your favorite D&D &D class? Um, I tend to play um, Wiz... What is my character? I think it's a wizard. I like wizards... Um, Clerics. I like I like magic users. Uh, I also enjoy a good rogue now and then. Um, will there be more class cards? You'll have to wait and see. Will there be any double sided cards? You will have to wait and see. Um, Theoretically, could Godzilla-style rename be used to allow existing partners in CL2? You're trying, to, you're trying to get me. You're trying to take my no new partners and turn it into this is what they're doing. I'm not falling for it. Not falling for it. Uh, recently, Gavin made a video on cards that reward you for playing higher mana cost commanders. Are there any in this set? You will just have to wait and see. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start trying to write down new ways to say that. What is your most anticipated announcement day coming up? Anything you're particularly excited about because you think the community will get? I, I am actually looking forward to, uh, I know there's a lot of anxiety around it, but I'm actually looking forward to the announcement next week uh, when we have William Jensen on the show to talk about Premiere Play and the new system and all of that jazz. Um, May 12th is also, like I said, that's that's a big one coming up. We're packing a lot into that. So, you know, this show where I had a ton of time to answer questions and go through things, I am going to have less time on that show just because we are going to be talking about so many things. So I would say I am looking forward to next week's announcement show. It's not a monthly announcement show. It's just the uh, rollout of the whole Premiere Play system. But, uh, and then I'm also looking forward to May 12th. <laughs> um, any info on Magic Online support for the set? I do not have those details right now. Could you say you'll have to wait and see backwards to spice it up? Oh, I could try. I'm not very good at speaking backwards. Let's see. <laughs> Can you drop a bomb right before you leave and then I'll explain? You know what? I'm just impressed people are still here as I just keep giving non-information back and forth. Um, 
Let's see. Uh, I'll, I'll repeat this since I'm seeing the question. You might have missed it earlier. Uh, will Prismatic Piper return to help with the deck building during draft? Prismatic Piper itself is not returning. However, something in that space, I do this hand motion every time I talk about it, something in this space um, will be part of the set, and you'll, you'll see that on the 16th. We'll talk about that on the 16th. What's the biggest difference between this set and the previous Commander Legends? All right, so this is a bit of a cop-out, but obviously the biggest um, difference is the setting. The previous Commander Legends was magic-focused um, and old magic legends, that sort of deal. This one um, is skinned for uh, Dungeons & Dragons, so I would say the theme. Um, beyond that, oh, biggest difference. Oh, here, partners. The the la the previous Commander Legends set had a lot of monocolor partners. This one does not have that. Um, can I eat the delicious cards? Please don't. Mm -hmm. Any info on Double Masters too? No. Um, Lord of the Rings info when? Not for a while. That's, that's coming out in 2023. Do I think a commander set with other IP is plausible? I, I mean, we are doing Warhammer 40k commander later this year, so yes. Do I have a current D&D &D campaign? If so, could you tell us about your character? So. Uh, technically, the answer is yes. Uh, we have not played for a couple months now. Three months? Three months with um, Trick Jarrett's our DM. Um, we have not played for about three months now, and that's mostly on me and my wife. My wife is also part of the campaign. Uh, we have three kids. We have twins. It's hard. It's hard, man. Um, so... The campaign, it started out as a, like a little starter campaign just to try it out. Um, a couple other co-workers jumped in as well. Like I said, Trick, who's an experienced DM, guided us. And um, there was just a little adventure, and we had so much fun that we did it again and kind of forced him to expand it. Uh, where we left off is, I, don't rem I honestly don't remember much about my character. It's been three months. Uh, where we left off is we had just hijacked a ship. Um, Trick the DM was very nice in that he figured out a way for us to do it without being horribly um, morally ambiguous. But uh, yeah, we just hijacked a ship and we're on the, sub the uh, sailing the ocean and headed somewhere. Who knows? Best of luck with the parenting. Thanks. Sure, have, a I'm a sorcerer. Um, yeah, he has... <laughs> Uh, I think the congratulations is about the many children we have. Yeah, I had twin, my family had twins, twin girls last year. It's a lot, but they are lovely. Um, yeah, a lot of people are like, yep, I hear you on the stalled D&D &D game. All right, so we only have about two minutes left, so I'm going to uh, just real quick throw again to what's coming up. And, and go over some Commander Legends stuff real quick. So again, look for more Commander Legends information on May 16th. That will be the debut. We'll be right here. I'll be here. I'll be talking to you. Um, and we will share more information. All the stuff that I'm saying, wait and see. You'll start learning about it then, May 16th. Previews run through the 23rd. And then we'll do the Commander decks, the four Commander decks, uh, the 24th and the 25th. And then pre-release, global release there in that June time frame. And of course, uh, sometime soon we'll be sharing more information about Command Fests, dates, locations, all that sort of stuff. Uh, we will be sharing that as soon as it is ready. Uh, in the meantime, definitely tune in next week as we launch the Streets of New Capenna story, which again, we are doing that ahead of previews. That kicks off Monday. Maybe it'll have a little card preview in it too. We'll see. Who knows? I know. It will. Um, additionally, so we're going to have story Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and then 
additionally story uh, the following week on Monday, Tuesday. Um, and then on 331, there will be a world building type show that Jimmy and Josh have helped us put together. Uh, that's going to be airing on 331 if you're interested in the world building. And then, as I've been allowed to say, something cool musically is coming next week as well. So, thank you for tuning in. Make sure to come back next week as we visit with William Jensen and talk about the future of Premiere Play. I have been Blake Rasmussen. This is Weekly MTG. Thanks for joining us.